I'm back again guys with another technology review for you, the people. The reason I don't like these as much is because they're not Bluetooth and they can't be moved around the room. But once I spoke to the guy, once he played me a numerous amount of songs, many visits, we've got it. The Sonos Play 1, it's your turn to get reviewed. So, let's jump straight into the unboxing. Let's keep it short, sweet, and simple for you guys. Everyone knows what Sonos is all about. They don't mess around. I've heard them being played in the store. It's tough to beat, you know? Very, very tough to beat. But let's see if they are the best. So let's open it up and see what we're gonna get inside the Sonos Play 1s, shall we? Quick startup guide, important product information. Cardboard, the speaker itself, got the cables. Ethernet cable, which I believe you can plug this into your router to go into here straight away in case you don't have wireless. So let's open this bad boy and see what we're doing. Set it up, I guess. Okay, so a big thing that I didn't mention about when it comes to the Sonos, um, this is why I really didn't want to get them. Obviously, first of all, they're not portable. Big key error for me, but I'm still willing to give it a shot. Second big thing, it needs wireless 24 seven to be able to play its music. Again, a big problem for me. But I've come to the realization that I need some desk speakers that are not too bass heavy, that suit my desk, and it's gonna look nice. So this will be staying put anyway, so I can bear with that. And I'm gonna be indoors anyway whilst using it on the computer where I'm gonna be requiring wireless anyway, so all of it's there. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Right now it looks amazing though. So, first things first, you need to go onto your computer and you need to go onto their website and download the Sonos application. If you have a phone, you have to download the Sonos application. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Whilst the application is installing, I'm going to set up the cables for it. So like I said, you only need Ethernet if you're gonna be plugging it into your router if you don't have wireless or... So I'm gonna go wireless because I don't have a router anywhere near my ear. Nicely slots in there as well. Perfect. So on the top here you've got your play and your pause volume up and down. Simple as. On the bottom you obviously had it when you plugged in and on the back is where you plug the ethernet cable if you don't have any wireless. And then here is like a camera kind of stand screw so that these can be fitted to the walls. <clears throat> so I've gone through the whole process of downloading the installer and the program for Sonos. Updated it. There's only a couple of steps, emails, postcode, a couple of bits and bobs, you download the update and then from there you're good to go. But on the right you get to select all your music sources, so I only use Spotify, but if you go to add more music services you get a massive list. So you get Apple Music, you got Deezer, you got Groove, uh, you got Napster, Spotify, uh, Tidal. So you've got quite a few selections to choose from. If you ever want to add your own, if you have like a library on your own computer, you just go to manage, settings, click add, and then you can click in my music folder. But I don't have any music, I only have it through Spotify. This is what it sounds like at 75% if you're in a room by yourself and you're gonna be just chilling. So now I'm going to play a song at 100% volume, um, a little bit of a different song, something with a lot of bass, and then let's see how it goes. This is Jekyll and Hyde. Have you ever had a war of your mind? It's like two men trying to juggle college and money, but this is useless. So the thing that's making these so beast is the actual, it's got one tweeter, which creates that crisp and accurate kind of high frequency response that you're hearing. Um, and it's got two Class D digital amplifiers um, and a midwoofer. And if you have two, you can obviously stereo pair it. So this is going to be all the right noises and one's going to be the left noises if one is more dominant. This pocket of magic. It really, really is, and I can't wait to play more songs. Um, again, if you can sacrifice the portability and you can sacrifice the fact that you have to only use that application to be able to play the music for it, and you can overlook it, then go for it. But I always tell you to look at more reviews, look at more other people's videos, because everyone has different opinions, they have better clarification on the product itself. I'm just here to show it to you, 
play a little bit of music and you can see what it's all about. And I advise that you go to the majority of stores and try it before you buy it. If you can only order online, then best of luck. But I really, any store you go to, electronic, electronic store, you can be able to be able to play with these. Um, they'll have them all out. They'll have different speakers you can listen to. I know it's not the right environment necessarily to be listening to, but that's what I recommend you do. Read other people's reviews, read more reviews, read more, watch more. Then go and have a little listen and play around. Don't rush your decision on speakers. I'm here to show you multiple ranges of speakers that you could be purchasing and you base it on a decision on that. That's your decision.